Hey, welcome back everybody. In today's video, I thought I'll share my workflow for PSP development, tools that I use, plugins, settings, all keyboard shortcuts, and hope you get something out of this video. So let's get started. So first thing uh, for code editor, I use these two Visual Studio Code and PSP Storm. So PSP Storm I use for a slightly bigger projects uh, which I'm working for my work and I'm working for very long and basically it is the big project where a lot of refactoring code navigation and all the stuff and VS Code I use uh, quite often for medium small to medium project although it is capable of any kind of project but I find it easier on PSP Storm because all tools are integrated here. Okay, the cool thing about the PSP Storm that I like most is uh, you can get all of the tools that are necessary for development in just one place, like <clears throat> one ID. So you can have all your database here or tables. You can open terminal. You can do Git related stuff over here. So before that, uh, I want to show you some plugins that I use. If I open settings, so I have this shortcut control alt s that I use uh, quite often to open the settings page. In settings, if you go and search for plugins. So most of the plugins come by default. So I use this Laravel plugin and this Material UI plugin and yeah, this Bootstrap for snippets. Not much custom plugin that I use. All these other plugins comes bundled by default. So you don't need to do anything there. So this Material UI theme just makes it look nicer, Material theme and this Laravel will give us some ability to navigate through the blade files just extract the parcels out of blade file and much more thing so these are the two plugins that i use most and so i've opened up the project over here and here you can get this project view So another thing, uh, the most used uh, keyboard shortcut that I use is, again, let's open up settings space. And if you go to here, key maps, you got a lot of options. You got, so if you come from VS uh, Visual Studio Sublime, you can just select them and all the Sublime related uh, keyboard shortcut will be applied to this ID. So I use some variation of this Sublime text because I used to use Sublime text I still use and here all of the shortcuts uh, that I most use is to toggle this uh, explorer view project view alt one to toggle this and another thing to open the database and all stuff other mostly I open up terminal so you can directly open from here or I I have shortcut alt tilde to open terminal like so and yeah git i open from alt 9 which will open all the local changes that are in project with all this difference view what is changed in this commit or what you have changed since your last commit and all other stuff you can just take a look of all of them if you don't want you can just edit it here and do a lot of stuff and when you want to commit just hit Control k and it will open up the commit window you can again view all of the changes like you viewed earlier Control d will open up all the difference or diff view for that file so keyboard shortcuts you can uh, quite easily customize so these are just my keyboard shortcuts Control k alt 9 so first thing when I come for work is just fetch the changes from git. You can fetch from here or directly from terminal. So I have this keyboard shortcut 
control alt f which is i find it quite useful so it is fetching so once everything is fetched i control alt 9 i hit alt 9 and then switch to this log and i see what are the changes that other developers or other fellow members done and i just have a look at them what are the changes and if i want to see what changes they made control d i see all of this and study code like this okay another cool thing you can add your database over here so if you don't have this php storm and although it is free for i think community edition is free and if you have university email address you can get it for free web server i use this largon so everything um, like database manager already comes here which is idsql if you don't want to use integrated environment like php storm for managing database you can just open up this idsql and just enter your credentials port number and just open up and you can manage the database from here similarly you get external terminal from here everything so the problem with this is if you don't mind opening multiple programs for multiple thing it's fine so i like terminal here and database manager over here it is quite easy so by the way you can add database from here data source and data source is sql yeah my sql and then here you can enter in this you can enter the local host user is root password nothing so if you want to so for this project this is the database name you can test connection if it is yeah it's okay then hit okay and it will show all the tables and everything from that database so schemas here yeah, you can see all the tables if you want to see what is inside this double click and it will show all the data and you can view all the all the columns and everything related to database so you don't have to open a separate program for that which i like about it so as i already told i use this material ui theme so in material ui you got a lot of option if you go here you can see atom one dark i'm using atom one dark theme so you can customize it by opening up setting page and you can go to just type in theme appearance so from here you can choose themes so i use atom one dark i like this so you can customize a lot of thing over here yeah so shortcut is control tilde this will open up this and here you can material theme chooser so best way is to change it from here material theme material theme chooser and from here you can choose a lot of options for example one guy theme let's go to atom one dark theme okay so talking about font uh, yeah, i use this so this is um, a relatively newer font for php storm just released in 2020 version if you search for font it is called z frames mono if you go to editor editor font so current font is z frames mono so this is the font that i use all right that's it and another uh, quite often used uh, thing is live templates which you can call it snippets so if you go to product controller let's see so if you want to quickly create new public method you can do public function puff f 
and it will create the function name and then parameter return everything so this comes by default if you open up settings and just go to live templates here a lot of live template for different like angular different frameworks different language so for php you can see here there is prof for protected function pf that i just uh, used is for public function static function there are a lot of keyboard shortcut you can define your own from here as well by hitting a plus sign which will end up inside this user and here are some of value for console logging for php tag so another tool is uh, you can so in chrome plugin this web developer tool is a bit quite helpful sometimes when you need to populate form fields just see form details and looks like there are color picker and a lot of options yes some people find it easier to use separate tool for color picker and all these instead of searching it here yeah and for api testing i use postman but recently i find insomnia another cool tool insomnia that i used in my linux rest api i also use uh, open 218 for some work and there i use this insomnia i find it's i find it very hard to install postman there and even if i install it is not it was not working native app so i used this i tried insomnia and then pretty liked it it's uh, quite user friendly and not a lot of distraction not a lot of buttons everything is organized user interface so you can try all these so this is the basic tools and workflow for my development and as i already told this laragon if you are on windows it's quite easy and i will see you on another video bye